Hi, I'm Scott Siegel with Executive Electrocardiogram Education, and today we're going to talk about the waves. We'll use this diagram of the heart for our example. For orientation purposes, this is the right side and this is the left. The upper chambers represent the atria or receiving chambers, and the lower chambers represent the ventricles or pumping chambers. This spot here is a sinoatrial or SA node, and this area here is the atrioventricular or AV node. Let's remember the conduction starts from the sinoatrial node up here. A little impulse is sent into the atria causing atrial depolarization and a P wave on the electrocardiogram. The impulse then stops at the atrioventricular node. I think of the AV node as a gatekeeper that looks down into the ventricles to make sure everything is okay before letting the impulse through. This short pause is the PR interval. Once the ventricles are ready, the AV node lets the impulse through, allowing ventricular depolarization and a QRS complex on the ECG. Finally, the electrical activity of the ventricle resets. This is called ventricular repolarization and is shown by a T wave on the ECG. Remember that each lead of the 12 lead electrocardiogram is looking at the heart from a different point of view. Subsequently, the P waves, QRS complexes, and the T waves will look different in each lead. The QRS complex may have different components. By definition, the first upward wave of the QRS complex is called an R wave. A downward deflection prior to an R wave is called a Q wave. A downward deflection after an R wave is called an S wave. Subsequent R waves and S waves are called prime, double prime, and even triple prime. Let's look at these QRS complexes and name the waves. Here is a Q wave followed by an R wave. Here is an R wave followed by an S wave. Here is a Q wave, an R wave, an S wave, and an R prime. This one shows an R and an R prime. A single downward deflection is called a QS wave. Lastly, let's name this ridiculous looking QRS complex. Here is a Q wave, an R wave, an S wave, an R prime, an S prime, an R double prime, an S double prime, an R triple prime, and finally an S triple prime. Long but easy. This section from the end of the QRS complex to the beginning of the T wave is the ST segment. The point where the end of the QRS complex meets the beginning of the ST wave is called the J point. This is important when looking for injury to the heart muscle. It may be elevated or depressed. Lastly, the time from the beginning of the QRS complex to the end of the T wave is called the QT interval. I'm sure you enjoyed this introduction to the ECG waveform. Please join us for more discussions later. Remember that for more detail about ECG and arrhythmia interpretation, consider Executive Electrocardiogram Education's Gold or Platinum courses.